Hey guys, just want to give you a couple of pointers. I had a few requests over the last couple of weeks uh, for behind the back tutorials. So I wanted to share a little bit of uh, information and some pointers on how to get into behind the back with Bugang, as well as some things you can do to progress a little bit further and play with it. Uh, so, uh, the easiest thing to start off with is you really want to have a good foundation with something that translates from double staff. It's a one beat weave, and that's taking one hand and staying on that same side of the body with it. So you're essentially creating this motion where the thumb side stays in front and the pinky side stays in, in behind of the body. Right there, just like that. That's what we're looking for. Uh, so this is the foundation of a lot of behind the back stuff. You can get into multiple beats, but it gets a little bit trickier. Uh, so the first thing you want to learn to do is to do those one beats with the thumb side right down as low as you can, as close to your body, close down by the hip. You practice this both directions. Generally, this is the orientation you're going to be going through. With this move, the easiest way is to get the curves pointed down. If I turn away from you, you can see it. Curves just like that. This is the easiest spin that I find uh, when you're actually doing behind the back weave uh, with, butter, with the bugang is, uh, is this particular motion translates a lot quicker into uh, behind the body space than the other direction does. Uh, so get really good with this. The next step would be transitioning actually over to the other side of the body and that'll actually help you get the kind of twisty behind the arm back. Now if you're not very flexible this is going to take a little bit of work. Uh, so what you're going to do, and I find this is easier soon again, the same orientation we're going to start just like this if you guys can see that. Bam! Beautiful. Okay, uh, so we're going to start like this and what I like to do is take out to the sides here and when the bugang are coming down I'll start with my right hand because it's the dominant hand. When the bugang are coming down, you bring the thumb side over across the body. Now you're not trying to get way, way over here. You want to bring it to a point where your, your thumb in the center of the bugang is just about the other side of the body here. Once you get to this point, and I'll turn to the side so you can see it a little bit better. Once you get to this point, what's going to happen now is you're going to do that same one beat motion. We're going to forget about this hand. The hand that's crossed behind the body is now going to do one beat in this space right here. And this is the trickiest part at first. Get really good at just practicing with one hand, doing this right here. One beat. And I'll go ahead and turn a little bit so you can see it. Bam! Just like that. Uh, I really recommend practicing with both hands. Uh, once again, I'll go ahead and go through the whole motion for you real quick with one hand. You'll come out, you'll come over, and it comes across and down across the back of the body. And then you go into that one beat motion. Uh, again, I'll do it from here, bam, across, and over. Uh, once you get really good with that, you'll learn to, and I'll try to get a little bit better of an angle for you here, come out and across, and pause one. One hand usually transitions for me. Once you get to this shape, then you would start your one beat, and so the motion becomes this right here, right there. Man, so this is the basic motion. Now once you've broken the steps, you can get into this. The only tricky part is transitioning across the body, which I will show you a little bit weirdness that happens with that. So we'll turn around and we'll make this happen. So here we go. Just to show you the transition that you can play with later. One hand, which is the hand on the outside, is going to do that same scoop. It's going to scoop across the body. The tricky one is the one that's crossed over. It actually has to go across the body kind of in an anti-spin through this space underneath the arm and then it's going to come out again. So I'll do that whole motion for you real quick. It's going to go across the body and then I like to stop in this shape here and then go back into that behind the back weave. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's a few pointers for behind the back with Bugang. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, yeah, more to come. Thanks for watching.